start back to 303. 212 Hotel Romeo. It's the 29th of August. As you see on Flight Aware, our last flight was up to Picos, Texas and back. Two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back. airplane they're worried we had a major issue it may be a big fuel tank leak or something like that you can see all that discoloration anyhow what it turns out is that little cinder unit right there I don't know if it's too dark for you to see it or not it's dripping fuel that's all it is is one little small gasket And then the auxiliary pump on the right engine is intermittent, so it's going to come off. It's up in there. I'll get a light here in a minute, give you a better view. But uh, it's going to come off and get overhauled, be put back on the airplane. That way we don't have to worry about it. If it's if we need it, it's there. So here we go. This is my job today. Saturday, beautiful day. Other airplanes are out flying and I'm going to be scrubbing on these inspection plates trying to get the blue off of them. Get them cleaned up again. And then get the underside of the wing cleaned up so this doesn't look like some kind of salvage airplane. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. A little few clouds here and there, but nothing big. You can see what it looks like before. Start cleaning on it. Nasty looking. A couple of World War II airplanes out today. Flying in the pattern. Make a lot of noise. It sounds good too. So here's a pump that the uh, mechanic removed. He said he didn't want to be filmed. So this pump for intermittent duty use only and is not to be used as a primary pump. This pump requires overhaul every 10 years. Date assembled or last overhauled. Looks like 30th week of 1994. Yeah, no wonder. And uh, for those of you who want to know what your pump is or if you got an 83 model Cessna Crusader, most likely it's going to be the same, but... You know, you'll have to check yours. The Cessna part number is a C91504-0302. Also, uh, Dukes Incorporated out of Northridge, California has got a number on here. It's 1521-00-3. Low boost and high boost. And like I said, this pump provides the... Um, it provides the, uh, uh, the low boost, high boost, and then the prime on this airplane. Here it coming. Unmistakable noise. So on the Cessna 303s, just outboard of the main landing gear. And just outboard of the main landing gear door, there's three, well actually there's four inspection plates in a row. Three of them are a little bit bigger. So that's the gas later of the... Inside this bay right here is where the um, auxiliary fuel pump is. And in a Cessna 303, you put it on low 
take option for landing. And any time you want to clear the fuel lines. It also serves as a primer pump to start the engine. So this one pump goes out and you're uh, you don't have the only, the only thing you have is the engine driven, uh, engine driven pump. The second bay, the long one that you saw me cleaning, goes here and uh, fuel line fittings from the wing go to the uh, pump and then go to the cross feed. And uh, that one's just behind the uh, exhaust. So the only one you really need to take off to get to the fuel pump is the center one um, out of the three. And then um, you can see on this wing, this part of the wing here from these rivets forward is the wet tank. And it's not leaking at all. Everything came from that one sending unit up there. So plan is the can is going to take this one off right here. We're sending that in to get it overhauled. And possibly do the other side at the same time. Coast Texas, a couple of Blackhawks backing out over in the distance. Uh, does Devil Tornado and then 212 Hotel Romeo? And we brought out some parts for this airplane. Wow. Go, man, on their way to uh, El Paso.